So the episode opens with Abigail finally going to sleep after having that dream, them illusions, and also tossing and turning, rolling around like she was a damn toss selling in that bed. So Chad decides to get their son and he come jumping on her, waking her up. Oh, this is a good way to wake up. Thank you, baby. Mm-hmm. Chad said you couldn't sleep very good. What was going on? Bloom, bloom, daydream. You seen Chad sleep, you got that tablet, and voila, nigga, your big surprise. Abigail, I have no words for you, and I'm not going to feel sorry for you. I'm sorry, but I don't. Oh, God, you still ain't got over that fever you got for Nicole yet, Desmos. Now, come on now. We ain't had, what, a couple of days off with you. And as soon as we get you back here, you come still with that fever over Nicole. You really need to hurry up and get you some medicine and get over that goddamn cold. Because I'm sick of hearing you and Nicole in the same sentence. Then you hear that ain't going to happen. But yet, you still want to happen. Dead Smalls, it's time to get over that fever now and move the fuck on with your life. Oh, God, he want to have a talk about loyalty. Bitch, I know you do not want to talk about no damn loyalty. This bitch want to talk about loyalty. Dead Smalls, you the last person in Salem, at least the last person in Salem that should be talking about damn loyalty. Where the fuck was your loyalty at when you killed, I killed your brother and his wife? Where the fuck was your loyalty? Dead Smalls, don't mention that word never again in your tired worthless life because you don't know what the fuck that mean and you'll never know what the fuck that mean because you the one that fucked up the loyalty first. Don't get mad because they ain't, ain't going to follow suit with you just because you want to say y'all ain't got no loyalty. Well, bitch, you ain't had no when you came in the town. So now you expect somebody else to have loyalty for you? Are you kidding me? Dead Smalls. Desmos, you really need to go find you a life and quick. Yeah, all of a sudden, we get the rope. Rope had a nerd where Rafe had the audacity to have some Mara saying this wrong, this wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. The boys ain't working because this ain't right. Bitch, here go another hypocrite. Ray, you have done some illegal shit, some illegal dealing and wheeling. I know you ain't sent up here cotton, cotton hope morals, cause that heifer ain't got none herself. And now you done seen it and grow you a pair of morals all of a damn sudden. Oh, now you wanna do shit by the book? Really, Rave? Really? When have you not done nothing over the, Rave? You eat this new set of morals you got, you need to swallow them or spit them back out. Because, bitch, you been lost your morals a long, long time ago. Running behind the elderly ass lady. That's one of them. And when have you not done anything illegal? Don't go there, Rave. <laughs> oh, I love Sunday when he get these little childish ass ways. They took the picture of the little devil in his beat up mask. Talking about some we at war. Bitch, a war you started. Don't expect your family to help you in this war you created. All the families need to get together and tag team on your ass. That's all that need to happen. Do you really expect them to help you, fucker? And you started this bullshit and this war and all this horse shit. Now you expect your family to be close to you when you started all this fuckery. Hell no, motherfucker, you in this on your own. And I don't blame Sonny. See, but I do that shit a little bit more better than Sonny. Fuck a damn picture. I would have put a video and did a demonstration on your damn face. Uh, who somebody beat, who who put Dez, who beat Dez most damn. I also have like a little camera like, who beat Dez most damn? I'll give you a thousand dollars right now for the person that beat him down. Hell, I'll put out a cash reward for the person that beat Dez. Fuck a drink. Give him a thousand dollars. Shit. That's the worst of money right there. Not no damn drink, sonny. Come on now, Dismo. Let's be honest and let's be real. The only reason you pursued was to, um, pursued, um, Nicole, and the reason you so obsessed with fucking Nicole there because she looked like your old ex-wife. Let's be honest here, um, Desmo. And if she had enough common sense, she would have never got in the bed with your tired ass. And now you obsessing and saying slobbering all over her because you don't want that ex-wife memory to go away, a.k.a. meaning Nicole leaving your, um, 
your fantasy right now. Your dead wife, your real life wife. Look, dead smalls go to hell. And as for the trails and traitors, honey, that's all you. Point them arrows back at you, fucker. Quit pointing them at everybody else. Them arrows go back to you, you fuck face. Abby, Abby, Abby. Girl, sit your ass down. You wouldn't know anything about the mayor of business. You're trying to stick your nose in there thinking you can sit close to Chad by getting into that business. Abigail, have several damn seats and do what you do best, not being a part of the mayor of business. Because you coming off a little too high and mighty and think you know everything. Think you, Abigail, just have several damn seats somewhere, please. More preaching for Rafe. Not he on the hull, always looking for trouble in this, that, and the other one. Um, fucker, fucker, rave. Now you got hope, hope then broken off with you several times. Yell her tactics is off the wall. Yes, she do shit illegal. Yes, she kind of a wild card like the, like the sin of danger. But bitch, ain't that what made you care fall in love with her and make her you like her? I don't understand now. Now you trying to change hope? I ain't the fitting hope. Don't get me wrong, I ain't the fitting her. But bitch, ain't that what made you fall in love with her from the jump? Knowing that she always exciting and thrilling, always got some adventures on her belt, then best that she loved the sin of danger. Then that what makes you fall in love with her? Now you trying to tell her to pump the brakes. Oh, Ref, I see y'all living a lifelong, living forever and ever, marrying, having kids and all. Keep on doing this shit, Ref. You just pushing her away, farther and farther away from you. You know how hope is. You know hope will love danger. I don't know what you trying to prove calling yourself preaching to her like you her daddy or her husband or whoever the fuck you think you is. But, but it ain't gonna do nothing but just push her farther and farther away from you. Yeah, you think she didn't let you in this last time when she really Really get rid of your ass this time. Less than you on your hands and knees begging her ass to take you back. Rafe, I would shut up if I was you. Cause you know what you was getting into when you dated home. When you dating home. You liked it damn. So now all of a sudden now you got a problem with it. Rafe, I can't with you. And bitch, you wonder. You wonder why nobody want to fuck with you. No, nobody fuck around with you. Ain't nobody going to help you. If somebody come and bust in that house now and beat you down, you a best they deserve it. And they going to all sit back and watch. There's most you ain't going to never get no love for nobody in your family. None. Because you came in the picture wrong. Now you didn't got your ass a little power. Now you little silly ass around here thinking you can do whatever the fuck you want to and get away with it. Like I said, I really hope you enjoying your power now. Because I know sooner or later it's coming to an end and I can't wait. <laughs> um... Abigail, did that feel good telling Kate to shut the hell up, come walking in there cause you heard them talking about Gabby, then all of a sudden you come walking your long head ass and then, uh, with all the respect came, I think you need to shut the hell up and mind your own business. <laughs> Girl, that's the strongest you did been since you brought your ass on this damn show, Abigail. Well, since you brought your ass on this show, since the new Abigail. Girl, that's the strongest I ever seen you. Well, 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 about damn time. Well, at least this one got a backbone, at least. <laughs> Who would have knew? Abigail. Cool story, bro, but bitch, you are out just... <laughs> Honey, you ain't got none of our respect, none of less Kate respect. Then you think that she can't be rude and disrespectful? Girl, I can say so much, but I don't feel like being rude. But Abigail, though, I hope you don't think you scared, made somebody panties wet, or made anybody fearful of you with your little rant there, honey. Because you ain't doing nothing but blowing hot air, hot air, hot air, hot air. Cash, you could have handled a whole little bit better than that, but I understand you ain't want to be fucking rude and disrespectful. But I would have. I would have told her, I feel how I feel in wood. You was gone for almost a year. He moved on. He found somebody up that going to make him happy. Ain't my fault I don't think he should be with you. You got a problem with that? Take it up with your own ass. That's exactly what I would have told her. But nah, can't you let her get the, you let a weakling get the upper hand of it. I'm done with you, Kate. 
Yeah, Eduardo, if you went for Kate to admit that she wrong and she love you, but that's going to be a chilly day in here. Y'all going to continue to play this little ring around the rosy game. Kate ain't going to never get tired of playing this. Sooner or later, Eduardo, you going to get tired of playing him. I really wish you would stop playing him and show Kate you really that she really can't make you jealous. And then she'll realize maybe, hopefully, Truthfully, maybe, that she'll see that she fucked up on the good thing and she need to get on her hands and knees. But the day get, can't get on her damn hands and knees of the day, that's going to be a chilly day. Mm -mm. Yeah, she ain't getting on her hands and knees that water. I don't know what you were expecting for Kate, but it ain't going to happen. Ray, if you really need to grow the fuck up, and I'm getting tired of you and this love. Fighting these feelings, not fighting these feelings, trying to be a hard ass. Ray, if you want him, get, you want him gone back, gone, this is that, as everybody else want him back, gone. Why are you fighting this? Get over yourself, please. Well, we can finally get rid of this fucker. And then you go fighting every day. We're not going to have you fighting rape. We're just going to ignore you. Because, God damn it, you need to shut the fuck up. You know you want this man been gone just as bad as anybody else gone. And now you sit up here fighting and complaining, complaining, complaining here, complaining there. Can you ever heard her say some good shit and never some good shit that happened? Shut up. <laughs> So I missed the whole sleepless in Seattle thing. And we get... <laughs> Ooh, Abigail. The fact that Chad and Gabby get to you this much and you married to him tells me, honey, you either insecure, paranoid, or you just need to do something with yourself, sweetie. And I'm just laughing at the fact that you get so jealous and so quick and in a hurry when you sipping with him, you having sex with him, and he yearn. But, bitch, you so... You'll think Gavin and I already got the man here, the way you acting, and the way you freaking out, talking about sleeping this up in Seattle, like that damn, um... That baby bag did in the thing you now you up there beating up on the dog on the um baby bag like the baby bag the baby bag ain't sleep with your man or had an affair with your man or kiss your man. What did the baby bag do to you, Abigail? Abuse. See, see, isn't it obvious to everybody that Dari got a got a um little thing for um Abigail? I don't know how everybody don't see it. See, even can't even see it. He got a thing for Abigail. Everybody see it. Besides her, she the one gonna talk about some. No, I'm married. I can't do that. Hell, Chad then cheated on your ass. Hell, you might as well go ahead and get you some on the side. I don't know who the fuck you think you playing with, Abigail. Like you ain't never cheating in your fucking life. You better get that man and go on and get you a little piece on the side. When Chad sleep, you I can't give you none. I don't know who you think you playing with, Abigail. We know your past history. Oh, so Chad actually admitted that he, well, he kind of admitted he ain't come out full on blown, said, yeah, I knocked the, yeah, I hit this one, knock the fuck out, and yeah, he ain't admitted it, so I guess they fit the tag team not to try to take Desmos down. Boy, Desmo, you sure have a cast crew in the, um, all the cast lining up to take you down, Desmos. It's such a shame, really. No, it ain't. I'm just waiting to see who, I'm just dying and waiting and can sit back and relax and see who's going to be the first one to take you down or kill you, I heard. Either way it happened, I'm going to be happy with either way. No matter who go down for prison, who go down for, who go to jail or whatever happened, I'm going to be happy somebody took you down a couple of notches. So I'm dying to see it. Well, that was Reed Shade all into one. Okay, basically she telling you, go out to her dad if you're going to go out to her dad. If you're not, don't leave, tell that man you're not interested. Let that man get over you and move the fuck on, put a period, without you being jealous and talking about Chloe and what she is and how and the... Gabby told your ass the right damn thing. She told your ass perfect. You need to either go with my dad or leave him the fuck alone. You boy right now trying to help me get with Chad, but I don't want him like that. So you need to do something with yourself. Yes, Kate, worry about your own ass while you trying to play matchmaker. Match match your ass with that water. That's what you go do. 
You know what kills me about Desmos and all seriously and really? He ain't really no really goddamn good criminal. He really not. You doing shit all wrong. I mean, people that's gonna do shit like that, they'll at least have a backup phone where they can do their legal dealings on for and they won't go to your um cell phone company and get your goddamn record to say, you made this call, this call, this call, it all connects to this cell tower and it leads to you. Like you at least get a burner phone or Let's go use a payphone like they did on the Sopranos. I mean, go do something. A. B. Who be in that fucking house talking like this? Now, granted, I know that's a big old ass mansion. And I know that if somebody walked up on you, you won't hear them until you turn around and happen to see them. That that would be another reason why I go to the payphone immediately and go use the payphone like an idiot. I already use the payphone and they get called. Yeah, you seen the Sopranos? They never got called. Well, Tony almost well did. He? Nah, they been so damn long. No, Tony ain't never got called. He spent days in jail, a day in jail, but he ain't never got to get to prison. Wonder why? You better look, Desmond. You gonna be a monster. You better do that shit correct and better than what you doing now. Cause I bet you on later they just gonna get you. I mean seriously, you seriously up there making them kind of calls on your local. I mean on your regular cell phone. You ain't even gotta come to us to have two. F I can't with Desmond and his dumbness. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.